Yeah, both, both people really both broke in. Broke in front and had some drinks, you know what I mean? Yeah, a bit of real ale, nice yeah. afternoon out in the park, yeah. kind of thing, I mean. Yeah. I, mean it's like, I mean, I don't mind folk music, you know what I mean? It's like I'm not massively into it, you know what I mean? I can listen to it, you know what I mean? So it's like a pleasant afternoon, you know what I mean? It's like a nice environment to hang about in. I so, yeah, we heard good things about the last couple and so I was looking for somebody that we'd quite like to see being here, so... I've been the last couple of years now. Um, I've just come here for the atmosphere. It's not particularly who's playing, I just um, I just know that I'll enjoy the music generally. Um, everyone's here for a good time, um, everyone's lovely, you can just go up to somebody and talk to them. Uh, it's just a really enjoyable experience generally. Oh, fine, and who should she see but the finest corpse that ever I shone on? Oh, fair and under said unto her headmaid, whose corpse is this oh so fine? introduced me to it um, and my favourite folk band is Tongue and um, they're not playing this year unfortunately uh, but it doesn't matter because all the band is fantastic. I like individual sort of artists you know what I mean like so I don't mind some Nick Drake or Richard Thompson and people like that you know what I mean so um, I've heard it lots of people but it's just not something I necessarily listen to that much you know what I mean I listen to indivi this individual stuff like I'd say Richard Thompson um, the Pogues you know what I mean um, you know but um, I wouldn't say I'm massively in it, you know what I mean, so I'm not trying to do it. And listen, on the, on the website they had uh, links to YouTube with the various people, so had a bit of stone away, um, one, or two, one or two other people, uh, we'll, give, we'll give them a listen. Um, I don't know if Billy Bragg really counts as folk, he's more of a punky sort of songwriter really, he's got the same uh, attractions. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I am Adam, I play bass in the band. I'm Tom, play uh, percussion, cajon and cymbals in the band. I'm Samantha, I play fiddle. I'm Robin, I play guitar and I sing. I am Zara and I play the trumpet. I'm Laura and I play the recorder. And I'm Helen and I play the violin and the piano. It's a fantastic festival and we're really pleased to be here because it's our, our local festival and the lineup's always really varied. And it's nice to be like it. So. Yeah. Lots of local music, lots of international music. Yeah. Not just kind of fake music as well, a lot of different strands, lots of world music. So um, coming back here, it kind of makes you realise how good this scene is, where you meet loads of other bands as well um, at a festival, because it's more of a site based um, yeah, yeah. event. And there aren't many festivals where you have a backstage area that looks like this. It's pretty yeah. impressive. And I guess our influences are so broad. I mean, suggest sort of things that we can listen to and stuff. Like Lau, we sort of follow them around the country, not intentionally, but we seem to always be at the front of their gigs. <laughs> <laughs> that bit's not going in. <laughs> <laughs>
I like Lau. Yeah. That's, that's, not, that's not going in. Why? That's not going in this video. Why? <laughs> uh, I think maybe an argument should go. <laughs> <laughs> we all used to play in uh, the, the folk ensemble at college, which, uh, despite its quite straight name, was uh, more like a kind of touring circus, really. It had 50 to 80 members in it and uh, it was a great part of our education that we could be part of a professional touring band and uh, we had this idea that it would be a really economical idea to start a seven piece band <laughs> having, uh, having come from an 80 piece band. It's like a family, all bands are like families and this is like a very big family. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we've just the spent a, a lot of time together, we've just been on is it two weeks, two weeks I think we've solidly been together. So uh, doing, doing gigs and just been to France and then this is kind of uh, the end of the tour and the start of the recording so I guess we're about half halfway. Um, yeah. We've been very lucky to, uh, to develop a few quite loyal fans and over the last few years with the advent of things like Facebook and Twitter and, and all that sort of thing, it's amazing um, how uh, people up to date with what's going on, they follow you around, it's really good, so we've um, got a few loyal fans in there. We're yeah. constantly trying to increase our fan base as well, and Robin does a lot of our, um, he's very good with um, graphic design kind of work, and um, he designs all our posters and everything. I think like, this whole like social element is a very folky thing, like, and it always has been, folk music's always been social music, getting together, having a good time, you know, social music. and. Uh, just to mention the technology again, I think mm -hmm. social media at its best actually can do that. It can, it can help you be more folky and more in touch with, with the tradition of the music. Like, it's a bit of a dichotomy. Get folky with Facebook! <laughs> 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 <laughs>